back in 2000, 2001, there really wasn't the same scale of regulation. There wasn't the same awareness in the media about the, the volume and scale of data breaches. And since then, we've seen a steady increase in regulation and both stick and carrot in terms of uh, the obligations that companies now have to handle and uh, manage that data securely. Any industry that handles personally identifiable information has an exposure. Clearly, within that, there are priorities. So if you're in a highly regulated industry, such as healthcare or financial services, and uh, any industry that handles high volumes of personal data, such as retail, where credit card information, for example, is, uh, you know, is crucial to that business, but also needs to be handled with particular sensitivity when it comes to, to managing uh, that data securely. When we see data breaches, often uh, it, it's the first time that company has experienced a breach. So uh, there can be a temptation to panic and try to you know, put all hands on deck and put out fires wherever they see. What we recommend is really taking a measured and steady approach and hopefully there's an incident response plan so they can refer to uh, a, method uh, a methodical uh, reference point and bring the team together from all the different uh, touch points in the organization, bring together that group, take the measure of the incident, understand the extent of the personally identifiable information that's been affected, and take a, uh, a measured and uh, steady approach to what needs to happen next. Is it notification? Is it a, a computer forensics analysis? Uh, and what types of uh, notice is appropriate for that breach. And from there, after the first 48 hours, you can take the following steps in a much more calm and protected manner so that you're not undermining litigation or other um, uh, processes down the road.